Today we face the monsters that are at our door and bring the fight to them. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Is it because we're going to finally defeat the kaiju? No, it's because I have a bigger, better movie I still need to be in. Thor, The Dark World. It's nice to be in a franchise where I don't get killed off for once. I swear Ron Perlman survives, but they kill me off. Freaking racist. Want a monster good deal? Get your Pacific Rim action figures and statues right now at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description. What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Pacific Rim Jaeger Gypsy Danger figure by NECA. This is their 7-inch figure line. You can see it has the Pacific Rim uh, logo right there and the Jaeger um, logo right there. A nice, cool card back window box with it saying Jaeger Gypsy Danger. Uh, warning, do you want to choke on your Jaeger? Back here you have a nice picture of the figure. You can see this is a Mark III. You can see there's some buildings right there. And collect them all, which is Knifehead and Crimson Typhoon. Danger, danger, it's time for Gypsy Danger. And here we got Gypsy Danger from NECA Toys. Very awesome figure. Really cool looking Jaeger. Let's take a closer look at him. NECA did a great job uh, with the sculpt and paint on this figure. I love the yellow eyes and the nice red in there. has a really nice wash going and I really love, I guess, uh, Gypsy Danger's heart. Like the orange in there is really nice. Very cool. Uh, the 18 inch one that is going to be coming out will have a light up effect. And there's also a battle damage one with the sword that um, I will be getting very soon here from Big Bad Toy Story, so stay tuned for that. I love the 34. Just all the detail and like the shoulders, like the gears. Like Nick has done an amazing job on the detail of the Pacific Rim line. Like look at that in the back, the spine as I call it. Very cool, even the red line. I love um, just all like, it looks like it's been through, even though this is not the battle damage one, I like that it's been worn and torn. Like it's been around for a while. It's seen quite a bunch of kaiju fights, regardless if it's been cleaned up or not. And I love the sculpting around like the midriff uh, abs there, I guess. And like sculpting, there's the gypsy danger bud. You know, even like the joints right here, it's really nicely done. Like, you know, the nice paints and reds and the whites. It's really cool because this is the American Jaeger. So I gotta love it. And I like the feet, he has peg holes. Which is very nice. I love that dirt right there. It's like really dirty. You know, very awesome. Just overall, I mean, look at that, the back of the legs. So this is just very intuitive sculpting right here, which I really love. You know, just excellent job on NECA's part. Articulation. Gypsy Danger's uh, head can kind of move left or right just a little bit. It's a little hard to move it. Can go up and down quite a bit. It's like on a very tight ball joint. But you can move it just a little bit. It's just really hard to move it. Uh, now the arms can fully, uh, these thing, uh, shoulder pieces right here, you have to be very careful, but you can rotate them. You just kind of have to be careful and it does go in and out just a little bit that much. Now the arms um, do bend, but the elbow joint's not the best. You know, it's, you know, it doesn't really bend a full 90 degrees, but you know, so you can get some sort of poses out of it. Now the wrists do rotate and they go in and out, which is very nice. He does have upper ab articulation, which is great. It can fully rotate, go a nice forward crunch and a nice back. So really cool how the ab crunch is really good, even though the elbow joints aren't as great as it could be. Now the hips, because of the way it's shaped right here, they can't go in and out hardly at all. So it's really gonna be just standing, but the legs do go forward that much back that much so I mean a little range of motion not that much but still now the knees do have a nice 90 degree bend not a double joint knee but still pretty good and the ankles do pivot forward and back he does have an ankle pivot side to side like a little bit and what's cool is that the toes like has this joint like on the heel right here so it's very cool so you can do it in some dynamic poses like dancing you are a monster size comparison time so here you can see uh, gypsy danger compared to um, other figures in line like the kaiju knife head uh, he is a lot uh, taller now uh, knife head in my review I did mention he is more hunched over compared to other naked figures like kick-ass gypsy danger is taller he is about like 
closer to 8 inches. You can see how much taller it is than Marvel Legends Mark 42 Iron Man and the movie Masters Man of Steel Superman. Now Pacific Rim is one of my favorite movies of the year. Um, it's out right now on Blu-ray DVD combo pack so definitely pick it up. But um, definitely for NECA's done a great job with this line. Like I said even with some issues we've had with either articulation or whatever the sculpts on here and I'm gonna get series 2 or wave 2 uh, pretty soon with the battle damage gypsy danger that does come with the swords and uh, getting striker Eureka and Leatherback. So we're and with they are doing um, a wave three with more Jaegers and Kaiju. So uh, we're getting a good variety of of figures from this line, and definitely gotta have Gypsy Danger. Now this version, when I do the bow damage one, you can decide if you want both versions or you just want the bow damage one with the swords. This one, if you like the cleaner look, like I said. Um, this version doesn't come with any accessories, but like I said, it's a really cool figure, really good looking, really awesome paint apps, and I'm really happy with it. Especially, you know, you can find this figure right now like a Big Bad Toy Store for only like, you know, 15 bucks. Um, or like 15, 18 bucks. It's really, I think, worth it compared to other figures in this scale that, you know, even ones that don't come with accessories are like even more money than this. And um, also, I can't wait for the 18 inch one that NECA's doing because that will have the lineup chest. So, like I said, uh, we're getting a few versions of Gypsy Danger in different scales and versions. But I said, uh, he's, he's the main, uh, or she's the main uh, Jaeger. And like I said, I, I definitely think NECA did a great job and I highly recommend it. For more geek news, reviews, podcasts, more, go to bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Training Home in a big way. Check out bkbn.net. Jason David Frank, Tommy the Green Ranger. <laughs> oh no, we lost our arm. We need backup. We have a ranger. Thanks, Power Rangers. You're the best. That's what we're here for, right? Oh, blazing sword. Let's go, Voltron Force. Um, guys are a little late. We defeated the monster, right? Oh wait, wait, what? You, you did? Oh, um, this is awkward.